one thing that makes Red Bridges unique is is we never change. We don't we don't like change. We don't want any change. We want the barbecue plate you ate back in 1995 to taste exactly the same as it does in 2018 right now. And we try to treat our customers as the best, utmost respect as we can because at the end of the day, that that's all we have is barbecue and hospitality. And uh, customers always right, no matter what. My name's Chase Webb. I'm co-owner at Red Bridges Barbecue Lodge, and I'm third generation carrying on the legacy. <laughs> My grandfather was a cook in the Army, and uh, when he come home from the Army, he wanted to pursue it and open a restaurant, so he opened a barbecue place. My grandfather was taught how to cook by Warner Stamey. He taught my grandfather and Alston's how to cook back in the 40s. And uh, they picked, cooked it on hickory and oak. And long story short, that's exactly where our style of barbecue came from. We cook it fresh every night. We don't put any additives on it. So I mean, it's just pit cooked, fresh smoked barbecue, and we do it the exact same every night and we've done it the exact same for 72 years, so we don't, we don't like change at all, and we don't want any kind of change. Now here in the western side of the state, we, we love our ketchup vinegar based, and uh, like if you go down towards South Carolina, down towards the other side of the state, they like to put mustard in your barbecue sauce, and it's okay to me, it's, it's not the best. Our ketchup vinegar base is the best for me. But, uh, I think it's a lot about what you were raised on. They do have a big debate on that, and some people come in here and can't stand ours, and some people come in and like ours better, so. John, our pit master, he come in, and he's actually been cooking barbecue for around 20 or 30 years. He'll fire four to five, six hours, depending on the temperature and all that. Then he'll flip them, and then he'll fire them another four to five, six hours, and they're done. So, I mean, it's, it's very simple, but at the same time, it's, it's complicated. And anytime I'm cooking or eating barbecue or even talking about barbecue, I just feel close to my family just because my grandfather started it and my grandmother started it and uh, that warms my heart up, it keeps me feeling good. They worked so hard to get this place going and where it's at. I want to keep it going and striving and even more powerful and, and better than it was when they had it just to, just to keep their legacy going.